Al Sorsen. What are you doing in this part of the country? I thought you were in Washington. I was. You know me, Ben. Come across a good thing. I like to share the wealth with my friends. <laughs> All the years I've known you, I've never known you to give anything away for nothing. <laughs> Same old Ben. Stick on the job and never take a flyer to make some real money. That's why I'm here. Give you a chance to make a few thousand. No questions asked. Yeah, you've been living it up, huh, Ben? <laughs> sure got a pile of bills. Brother, I can see you need me more than you need breath. Well, Al, it's the wife and the kids. They need all those things. I just can't say no. Before I know it, my out goes more than my income. But I'll manage. Then if your creditors clamp down and it gets out, you might even lose your job. You're telling me. This is uh, where the Broken Wheel Ranch is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And that's the property I want to file on. Well, you're about three years late, Alf. It's already been homesteaded by the owners of the Broken Wheel. Well, with your help, we'll unhomestead it. You know the tricks of this trade. Always some law a homesteader doesn't live up to. Well, I don't get it, Alf. That land's not much good for anything. You know me, Ben. Get a piece of inside information and act on it. There's a big missile plant going up in that section. Whoever owns that land's gonna make a killing. And it might as well be me and you. Just think of it, Ben. No more worrying about bills. Just to tide you over, here's a little something to help you make some of your payments. All you gotta do is find some good reason to cancel out the owners of the broken wheel and let me file on that property. To determine these cycles, refer to page 117. Pete. Pete. You uh, say something, Jim? Ever since you got that doggone almanac, you've done nothing but read. We've got fences to mend. Well, where's Joey? Are you going to give his hand? Now, you know just as well as I do that I gave him and Packy permission to spend the day up at their animal hospital. Come on. Hmm. Okay, Packy, spin some bandages. I'm not setting a, an ostrich's wing, Packy. All I need is a splinter of that. That's better. Okay, plaster. You know something, Joey? You could be a vet right now. Uh, maybe not now, but that's what I plan to be after I get out of college. Anything else you want me to do, Doc? Oh, nurse. Seeing as how it's almost supper time, see if the patients are hungry. that book, Primary Animal Husbandry. I looked at it and it doesn't say a thing about husbands. Animal husbandry is the art of taking care of and raising animals. Oh. Hey, Joey, I got a great idea. After I finish feeding the animals, let's go check around and see if we can find anything else that needs help. With a Negro beaver assistant like you, Packy, we'll have to add another wing to this hospital. Okay, come on. boarding house. You're not gonna find any hurt animals in the sky, Packy. I was just thinking if those were buzzards or not. Well, they are. Those scavengers have probably spotted something hurt. Come on. I don't 
don't see anything. Yeah, well, those buzzers aren't just putting in flying time. You look over there. scared than hurt. Besides, we'd probably never catch him anyway. Whoever put that trap there was sheer mean. And thoughtless. Well, let's get late. We better put our patients to bed and go home. My shack. These animals and that stuff got no business being in there. What are you talking about, mister? Jim said we could use this shack for an animal hospital. I don't know anything about no Jim, whoever he is. This is my land and I got papers to prove it. You must be mistaken, mister. This land belongs to the broken wheel. I got no time to argue with you, young fella. I'm taking possession. Anybody got any complaints, they can take it down to the land office. I get them animals and that stuff off my land. Move the animals under that tree. That tree's on my property, too. We'll just get them out of the way till we can fix something to carry them with. All right. Hey, Joey, you're not gonna let them push you around, are you? Well, we'll get the animals moved, and then we'll talk to Jim and see what we can do. Right with you, gentlemen. All right. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Mr. Newton. No, that's all right. Have a seat, will you, boys? Mr. Carr, there must be some mistake about this section of land that we filed on. Joey and Packy tell me that some man has ordered them off, claims it's his. Oh? Well, I'll have to check your file on that. It won't take long. I'm afraid I've got bad news for you. Your claim's been canceled. You can't do that without the notifying us first. Oh, well, you were notified 30 days ago. Here's my office copy of the letter. Well, I never received this. Me neither. Well, once this office has mailed a letter, we consider it to have been delivered, unless the post office returns it. Too bad you didn't put in the improvements required by law. If you had, the land would still be yours. Mr. Carr, isn't there some way that we can re-establish our claim? I'm afraid there isn't. We've already assigned a new claim to a Mr. Uh, Thorson. Well, thanks for your trouble. Not at all. It's my job. Let's go, boys. Capital City Hotel. Alf Thorson, please. Alf, Newton and the whole Broken Wheel Bunch were just here. They didn't give you any beef, did they? I handled it just the way you told me to. It went like clockwork. You can see for yourself, Jim. Next month, we're in for a long dry spell. Pete, that farm almanac's no better a fortune teller than a penny weighing machine. It's right as often as the Weather Bureau. You just wait and see. 
We'll get that dry spell yet. Now, look, there's no use in crying over spilt milk. We lost the best place we had to put a dam, and if we want to fight it, it'll take time and money and lawyers. And I don't think it's worth it. Of course, now, if that book of yours will tell us how to run a ranch without working, I might start reading it. All right, poke all the fun you want, but this here ain't just a book. It's got every fact and figure a man has to know. And come next month, you're going to see that it and me know what we're talking about. <laughs> Gosh, Jim, it's gonna take all day to move the animals over here. Yeah, we can't pack the rest of the stuff on Lucky and Fury. If it is up to me, I'd leave it right where it is. Possession is nine points of the law. You mean, as long as we stay in the shack, Mr. Thorson can't kick us off? Well, that's only a saying, Packy. Probably one of the many that Pete gets out of this almanac of his. All right, laugh all you like at this, but there's more horse sense in this than there is in all of us put together. We'll argue about that after the chores are done, huh? Eh, uh, put that back on my workbench, will you, Joey? Check for an animal hospital. Yeah, but for the time being, it'll have to do. You get that broom and start cleaning up, and I'll hitch a travoy. Do we have to? Well, yeah. There's no place else we can put our patients. And it's got to be clean, so it'll be sanitary. You're not going to get any of your work done reading. I'm just trying to find that old saying of pizza about nine parts of the law. Well, I'll look it up for you. You just keep pushing the broom. Hey, Packy, come here. Did you find it? No, but I found something even better. Come on, we got to show this to Mr. Carr. advance you gave me is only a drop in the bucket. I can't hold off those bill collectors forever. You held them off this long, Ben. You can hold them off a few days longer. I suppose I can try. But what really has me worried is that I've been checking, and nobody but you seems to have heard about that missile plant. Are you sure that your information... Sorry, you've got the wrong number. If anybody should find out that I canceled a claim because of something in this almanac, I'd not only get fired, but I'd run a chance of getting laughed out of town. Well, it's right there in black and white. A homestead can be improved in many different ways. Well, that's what our animal hospital is, an improvement. Yeah, and it don't have to be a dam. I tell you what, if you boys will keep it confidential there's anything in that almanac, I'll check it through channels so those higher headquarters won't think I'm a crackpot. And there might be something to this. Well, you never can tell. Wasn't that Mr... Well, uh, don't worry, Mr. Carr. And we'll keep quiet about this almanac. Come on, Packy. What are you stopping for, Packy? I told you we gotta get back to the ranch. How would you thinking? If there really is something between Mr. Carr and Mr. Thorson like you say there is, Mr. Carr ought to be in jail. Well, what do you think I got you out of his office so fast for? Come on, we gotta tell Jim. 
wearing out the floor ain't gonna make that shack Newton built vanish into thin air. I left all the details up to you, just like a dummy. So what? I'm pretty sure I convinced the kids I'm on their side. Besides, even if Newton files a protest, I can delay it for weeks. It's only one smart thing I heard you say, Ben. Make that shack vanish into thin air. Now your brain's beginning to percolate, Ben. We're not gonna get rid of that shack standing around here talking about it. Come on. Hey, Pete won't like you spoiling his almanac. I'm not spoiling it. I'm just marking off the part we showed to Mr. Carr. I'll write Jim and Pete a note saying we're holding down the fort. Fort? What fort? Oh, the shack. If this book's right about the shack being an improvement, then Pete's right about possession being nine points of the law. substantial shack to make disappear. That's why I had Bud bring the axes. We'll bust it up in the kennel and set it afire. Hardware and glass will haul away and dump into some ravine. I didn't count on things like this, Alf. When you talked me into falsifying the records, that was bad enough. But now, arson. You wasn't so squeamish about taking my money. You're in this with me up to your neck, so quit belly aching. Shack away from him. But how? Look at the size of them. Fury's bigger than them all. Come on, let's go. The whole thing will cave in if you just knock out the corners, bud. Fury. You go around in front and keep him busy. As long as they hold possession, we're sunk. I'll get those kids out of there if I have to chop the place down myself.
Packy, we held a fort. Isn't that right, Fury? You just can't go against this almanac, Jim. Well, now, Pete, the dam is no more than a drop in the bucket compared to a missile plant. That missile plant was only a rumor that Al Thorson picked up at the wrong keyhole, and you know it. With Joey's last patient cured, this shack ain't gonna be worth very much. We gotta start putting in that dam here before the next drought. Oh, I don't know that your almanac would approve of tearing down this shack any more than it would a historical landmark like Custer's Last Stand or the Alamo. You call this old dried up pile of splintery wood a landmark? History was made here, Pete. We held off a whole slew of land jumpers. Of course, with the help of a one horse army. Yeah, that's why we named it Fort Fury. <laughs> I reckon I'm outnumbered by this historical society. Fort Fury it is. <laughs> 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 